When I first arrived at McDonough in 2007, I could hear from the faculty that they were hungry for feedback about their teaching. Based on my experience at other schools, I knew this challenge was not unique to our school. One of the first initiatives was to form a committee of faculty and staff to design a growth and evaluation process to provide that feedback. And that's how Folio began. So when Folio got started at McDonough and we started looking at the process and what we were trying to accomplish with classroom observations, conversations with teachers, teacher reflection, feedback from students, we found that we needed an application to really help us bring it all together, to help us organize it. And that's where the notion of the Folio application was really born and it's become an essential partner in the conversation process to make Folio really work. The most inspiring part of Folio is, as a supervisor, sitting in a room with a teacher, uh, having a very human interaction with them, and, uh, and watching them come alive as they start to see kind of a deeper purpose and meaning to the work that they're doing. Professional growth before Folio was fairly invisible, where faculty and staff members were doing their work, trying out new ideas, but it was all behind closed doors. Folio has really opened up that process. I think what Folio has done is it's created tremendous conversations around the school. I think it's helped us all grow professionally, and I think the beneficiary of that is our students. So one of the things I love most about Folio is that it's been a, a program that we've been with for three or four years now, and you're constantly trying to evolve and grow and make the process better. So when I think about the things that have made Folio successful thus far, it's really the voices of all of the schools that participate in the collaborative. The process has been enhanced because of the work of the hundred schools that are part of the organization today. One thing that has been a resounding need is that people feel like Folio does a great job of managing the conversations between teachers and their supervisors. But a lot of schools are looking to bring more peer collaboration and teacher-to-teacher -teacher conversation into their professional growth work. As our use of Folio evolves, one of the things that I think we're looking for are more opportunities to see each other within the system. More opportunities for teachers to see what other teachers are working on without relying on a supervisor to make those connections for them. So, a stronger collaboration tools, stronger visibility, ways to identify people who are working on similar goals would be a phenomenal addition. My hope as Folio evolves is that the voice of peers is less filtered. In the end, the most valuable feedback they'll get is from one another. They'll adjust to that feedback, hear that feedback in a different way. Um, so it's the natural next step. We know that teachers learn best when they're driving their own learning and professional growth. So if we can create an opportunity for them to connect with colleagues either at their own school or beyond to experiment and learn new ways of delivering ideas and engaging with students, I think we're really taking Folio and professional development to the next level. We're so fortunate to be able to be in the position because of the Edward E. Ford Foundation to strengthen teacher development, strengthen professional development, create the kind of conversations among teachers that are going to help those individuals grow and ultimately to be able to help kids because that's what it's all about.